right, so we're out in West Cork here today with Michal O'Mani from Tony O'Mani. Um, with your big M first day out. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, uh, nice to be out in the sunshine anyhow. Yeah. Um, it's been long enough wondering how we're going to pay for it, at least when we get out, we can... <laughs> make a start at it. Make anyway. a start, yeah, exactly. exactly. And I suppose there's a savage crop of grass here anyway. There is, yeah. This is first cut, the first time being cut, it was receded there uh, the end of the last year, so there's a savage crop of grass here now, to be fair. You can't be doing grass. No. It's nice and clean as well. So we're starting off with good weather anyway for first cut, so... That's right. That's great, yeah. Jesus, if we could get... Um, a week or ten days now and get a blast of it out to, to take um, a lot of pressure off us. So, yeah, no, uh, I think there's a lot of grass left in the yards as well, so fellas are anxious to cut away and get a bit of quality because um, they, they have plenty of feed inside, yeah. so they're anxious to, be able to get a bit of quality. So, I'd say, fellow, as long as the weather holds up, fellas will cut away. like. Yeah, and growth rates are really starting to pick up because they were a bit slow at the start of the spring. Exactly. Is there much of a change anyway with this, this new machine versus your, your last one? Um, not really. Um, the lighting there, you you kind of do it through the screen. There are, there are a small few changes, but very little. Um, I suppose the one thing for a cost point of view is um, they're doing a three year, um, this three, three, three year warranty on the machines there now. Oh, yeah, you know, okay. so look at, at least. We're going to fairly fix costs now for the next three years. Very good. So we, no, we normally change it every three years. So um, just keep it within that warranty. Yeah, keep it within warranty is the plan in here. Yeah, Very know. good. And I suppose Aiden was out with you there um, getting our Trimble system fitted. That's so right. That but this is your third system? Third system now. We're, we're getting to like him. We, we, we find we can't do it out of now, to be honest. We have four systems in total. but. Uh, or finding it very hard, you know, be it planting maize or grass seeds or spreading lime or, you know. Um, and most of the tractors that have the systems on them, you know, end up not pulling trail, dump trailers or bale trailers or size trailers. They're either rolling, planting, spreading slurry, you know, they're on implements. Yeah. And yeah, even last night I was spreading lime there up to half 11, 12 o'clock and, you know, and then there was another fellow planting grass seeds and there was another fellow selling maize so you know all the systems were one to two like um, yeah. you know we can switch from one to another um we tend to buy the tractors now they're guidance ready yeah so we have three systems so we can swap them to other tractors but they're you know i suppose we've three tractors now and, and another tractor guidance ready so there's four tractors and and we give that are and you'll be able to swap the one, I suppose, outside of... Like, ex ex exactly, yeah, exactly. But look, yeah. yeah. No, no, we're very happy with it, not to be fair. Very good. Was there a reason you wanted to stick with Trimble? Um, look, uh, I just wanted them all the same, that once, any time you're learning something, you're learning it on one system. And um, I didn't want two or three different systems, and they were all different. And... Look, I said, if they're all the same, you know, we'd be all learning about it and we'd be learning something new every time about it. And you would learn, you'd be learning all the time yeah. about it, like. And to be fair, the more you use it, the more you get to see all the kind of... It is, of course, yeah. Stuff. Yeah. But it's handy as well, I suppose, like with you, with all your different customers, you'd have all your different fields saved and stuff. So if you're going back to the same fields, so you right. have your boundary and... Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, it's pretty down. Like, There's yeah. a small bit of setup at the start, but once you get up and going, it's, yeah. it's a super job. But I, I find it there, I would predict a customer long he's put out 3,000 gallons an acre. And honestly, it wasn't working um, properly. And uh, it was the fault of the tractor, since from the tractor. But I was doubly it like. And he says, I thought I got you put out 3,000 gallons an acre. And I said, Yeah, the same day. He said, You put out six there, I was doubly it like. He said, I'd rather see it skipped than doubled. Yeah. Because, you know, there was, there'd be too much grass, didn't I? Or too much slurry in it, didn't I? Actually, didn't and how many acres would you knock in a day? Jeez. You could knock travel acres if you did want to. You know, Serious? Yeah. And say if you were butterfly mowers there on a tractor, what would she? I'd say you'd be up to two turns of that, like. Okay, yeah. Yeah. I think you would. The tether's hot in your heels anyway. Yeah, it's an eight row <laughs> tether, like. 
just went to have the tractor on in there and I would just, you know, we'd be, we were taking on off tractors the whole time and then we'd want five trailers drawing or six trailers drawing and we'd be taking off the dinner for the other thing but that tractor was going to have long idle and we, so we washed it up and cleaned it up and just leave it on the dinner right? Yeah. Although he was saying, I think there's no air, con air conditioning. Oh, in that tractor? Yeah. Oh, geez, he's hot today, so? Yeah, leave the door open, I'm sure. And I suppose, like, if your EB line set there now, it kind of takes a bit of the, the hassle out of it on a long day where you're trying to knock, say, if you are knocking that 300 acres. That's right, that's right, put out a shadow put out. And then, say, with the, the rake, will you have the guy raking on GPS then as well? Um. He, he just has a, an ordinary easy guy 250 actually oh, yeah, but okay. that, that's what he has yeah but i suppose if if it's done through the honest ear it'll be very easy to follow straight sports too like yeah. you know and i suppose the the wider business then how many tractors do you currently have and um geez, what have we know we have uh, 17 new hollands and we want fint and one gsb fast track so we've 19 and the tractor I've here in the field, we've kind of half heard for the season there for driving the tenor, so she's a massive. So I suppose uh, this summer we'll have 20 tractors kind of working. They might be all working every day, but it's, uh, you know... Gives you a bit of flexibility. Uh, yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that, you know, for the first maybe 10 days now, the tenor will be busy, but after that it's slacking off again. But, you know, um, and not every farmer, some farmers have their own tethers and stuff like that. But, that tractor now will be on the tether now for the next 10 days. So yeah. it's handy that way. And you got in a new harvester and a chrome rake as well? Yeah, we, we normally change the harvester every two years. So um, we, we intend to run it, had intended to run it for three years because we bought a, a, a fairly fresh second hand 880 there last last year. And but, uh, our local dealer there, Timmy McCarthy, had a customer for our 970. So he was like, he was anxious to trade. So look, when there was a deal going, we we changed the way. Uh, Very good. And you went with the four rotor rake. Yeah, we haven't used it yet. As I said, this is the first job mowing, yeah. and um, but look, they, they all tell us they're a great job. So um, yeah, I, I I think it will be, uh, you know, may, uh, maybe in lighter grass. But I I think it, all in all, they'll be, I think it'll be a great job. Like, yeah. yeah. The harvester should be well able for it. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. To slow down the pace, and you, you know, like sometimes, yeah. sometimes uh, the pace was just too fast, and um, I think the four water now will just uh, slow the whole thing down and make things a bit safer. Yeah, I suppose just the season and the start of the year in a whole, I suppose it's been a kind of a good dry year. You were able to get on well with slurry and everything as well. That's right, no, it has been a mighty spring, um, you know. You know, from the 12th of January, we got out spreading slurry, and you know, we no major stop nearly up to Paddy's Day. We we're working every day, and uh, we since then we've been, you know, plowing and getting ready. There was a, a load of grass seeds put in because um, um, I suppose the fact that uh, it was such a good spring, farmers um, had a lot of feed left over, so it was a good opportunity for them to. Um, uh, receive grass and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah we've a lot of it. Don't know. We just hope that we just hope it's not too dry. You no, know, you know, the grasses yeah. are, are getting under pressure. So we need we'll a bit of moisture. Yeah, we we'll just hope that it won't be uh, too dry for like that. Yeah. Uh, and have you most of your maize in, or have you still a bit to go? Or um, I think we've got um, eighty or ninety acres left after today. Um, yeah, uh, we've got um, 80 or 90 acres left after today, so hopefully that'll be all set this week as well and to free up another tractor. Yeah, so you have a busy week ahead, so? We have, we have, we have a busy week. But look, there's no savage pressure either. You know, yeah. you can push fellas out a day or two or, you know, fellas... When the forecast know. is dry for the long range, it's not too bad. Exactly. Oh, do you want to know some fella talk about rain now and that? Uh, <laughs> put the right, pressure on. Put the pressure on. But no, to be fair, no, it's, it's, it's not too bad yet anyway. Yeah. Hey, thanks very much for having us out today anyway. No problem at all. No problem. Um,
and we hope exactly. the, the weather stays dry for you anyway and you can knock a good few acres with her. Exactly, exactly. No, 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 no. Perfect. Yeah.